Hello guys, and it's Around the Board with Benny G here with the snow falling down in Exeter. There is sadly no Premier League this evening, but we're going to be doing a little video on what I think is going to be some really good bets for any of the Aussie fans out there going to this year's UK Open this weekend. Now guys, there is going to be four Aussies if you include Paul Nicholson playing in the, the UK Open this year, which is huge. Plus one New Zealander. You've got Corey Cadby having a fantastic opening year. They actually have, um, Coral has, the sponsors of the UK Open, have Corey as the seventh favourite. Closely followed by Simon Whitlock. Closely followed by Kyle Anderson. Then you have Paul Nicholson. He's a bit of an outsider. And also very, very proud to see a New Zealand boy of Cody Harris in the mix as well. I'm going to be talking about all these players if you're from down under or if you're an Australian fan and I'm going to be telling you what I think are some really good bets going into the UK Open. I want to start with our boy Corey Cadby. I think he has the best chance of having a deep run. He's um, the Cole, Cole have him actually as 28 to 1 to win the whole thing. Do I think he has a chance? I really think he has a chance. But apart from him actually having a chance, I have to be realistic and give you guys some good advice. First bit of advice is gamble responsibly. Please don't forget that. But my next piece of advice is that we have to use our heads. This is his first major tournament and we have to realize the four big dogs in the um, competition have their eyes on the prize massively and are bigger favorites. Obviously you have mighty Michael Van Gerwen, the uh, last year's winner of the UK Open, Peter Wright, the world champion at the moment, uh, Rob Cross, and also Gary Anderson. These are gonna be the biggest threats to Corey, in my opinion. So what I think I'm going to do, this is my best advice for you, have an each way bet on Corey to actually make the semi-finals. This is a really good bet, unless he chokes, I think he's actually capable and good enough that he's gonna actually make it that far. Put four, five each way on this one, and it's a sure thing if he makes the semi-finals, you get 40 euros, 40 bucks back. Okay, the, my next one I'm going to be talking about, Simon Whitlock, he's so yo-yo-y, I'm not sure if I would actually put any money on Simon this time around, but if you feel like a little bit of a dabble, the Coral UK Open, the, the, um, the betting agency Coral has Simon at 50 to one. Closely followed by Kyle at 66 to one. This is a really, really good bet for me each way to make the semi-final. Just cut, put a couple of uh, couple of euros each way on that one, I believe. Two, four, four euros, four dollars. Everyone can lose four. And I think he has a good chance to have a deep run anyway. So why not? Why not? Next we have uh, Paul Nicholson. Don't think he's gonna have a deep run, but I am very interested in the first round match. He's playing one of the greats, Terry Jenkins, the ball, gonna be amazing, and I'm really interested to see how Terry Jenkins and Paul Nicholson go. So, I have a little bet for the first match. This one, I'm, there is a betting option called King of the Oki. If the player gets the most 180s, wins the match and has the highest checkout, you have a win. If it's equal, then it counts as a loss. I think at nine to one for Paul Nicholson, bit of a long one. If you're a bit of a gambling man and you like Paul Nicholson, chuck a few bob on that one and see how you go. Lastly, our boy from New Zealand, Cody Harris, really looking forward to this match. He has his first round match, it seems, I'm going to say a easy, Easy, -er. there's no easy matches, but a good match for him to start off in. He's not playing uh, Raymond Van Barneveld or anyone like that. He has a good opening round match, which he's more than capable of winning. And Coral sees that as well. They've actually got him as favorite, but I think a really good bet at four to one is for him to win six two or six three. Guys, there's my bets. This is Benny G from Around the Board Darts with Benny G. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of the darts from the UK Open, 
probably talk about some other nations and some of their favorites. Probably not going to go into Netherlands because there's only one winner when it comes to that. It's either RVB or or um, Michael Van Gerwen. There's so many good players from there. But maybe some of the smaller nations, maybe even Canada. But I really wanted to do this video because my heart is so much in Australia and I want to see these guys succeed. I hope you really enjoy these videos. Chuck a like on it if you like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. Why not? Cost you nothing.